because you, some of you have let it slip. And I want to show you some things about it. And I want to break it down to you with simplicity again. So that you leave out of this room. Watch this. With no curses working in your life. Now when I say curses, I'm not talking about a witch floating around on a... I'm not talking about people sprinkling dust and all that kind of stuff. And uh, No, I'm talking about what a curse is. It's simply a satanic um, foothold in your life where the enemy is able to rob from you, steal from you, destroy some things in your life, and you can't get him out because he has a legal right to be in it. And so curses can go through generations. And they can be in our life where stuff keep coming back around and coming back around. And why there's no breakthrough? Why can't I get even free of things in your life? Like, why can't I get delivered from this? Why do I always make these same decisions? Why am I always struggling with this issue? It's because you've given the devil a right. And devils don't leave voluntarily. They have to be cast out. But the way you cast them out is not just by saying, get out. You have to remove the legal ground that they have to operate in your life. And when you do, you'll see that thing break and you'll see all types of things in your life. So now I want you to go to Revelation chapter number 12. Yes, thank you, Father. Now y'all can't be jumping up and down. And all that while I'm teaching because y'all make me excited. And uh, my plan is not to raise my voice above what I'm saying right now. Because I have to teach this to you. I have to break it down. Revelation chapter number 12. And we're going to look at verses number Actually, yeah, we're going to look at verses just 10 and 11. We're not going to read too much. Revelation 12, verses 10 and 11. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of the brethren is cast down, which accused, accused them before our God day and night. Now listen to this verse. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They loved not their lives unto death. Now this here is speaking of a present moment that would, would transpire when Christ came, it also speaks of a future tense when ultimately the price of redemption and the fullness of it will be, the benefits of it will be manifested to us. Um, but that's once we get to the other side. You know, what you, 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 you don't get full payment till you step in the glory. It won't ever be done with the devil <laughs> until, until the end of the age or until you transition into heaven. But now Christ has already given us victory here. He has, that's the thing about it, that now are we the sons of God. It does not yet appear what we shall be. There is a now we are and what we shall be. Um, the purpose for redemption was to give those of us who are on earth the ability to manifest levels of deliverance, blessing, and authority and power while we are yet on earth so that we don't have to get to heaven to experience it. Okay? So now this is what we want. When Jesus came and shed his blood, he gave us the ability to stand against the accuser of the brethren and to overcome him by the blood of the lamb. Now, let me give you a couple of Greek words here and for, for you to understand the importance of this statement. Now, first of all, the, the term, the term accuser, 
Now has come salvation and strength, and the accuser of the brethren has been cast down. It's categorio in the Greek. That's the Greek word, categorio. It means, watch this, to be a plaintiff, to charge with some offense. And so it says that the plaintiff, the one who charges with offense, has been cast down. Everybody say, that makes this legal. Say it again, that makes this legal. Oh yeah, one more time, say, that makes this legal. Because now you're using a legal term of a plaintiff bringing an offense or a charge. Then the Bible goes on down and says that he accused them day and night, which means Satan's job is to be a complainant at law. His job is to function as a legal entity before the throne of God. Now, this is powerful for you to grasp and understand that Satan works like a complainant at law against you day and night. So day and night, what Satan is doing is making accusations against you. But he's making them before the throne of God. You say, why is that? Because if you go on down, once we get into this teaching, you will find out that everything in the spiritual realm works by legality. That everything in the spiritual realm works by legality. That everything in the spirit realm works by legality. Now, it's important that you understand that because that's where Satan functions. He functions against you in the legal realm, in the spirit realm where legalities determine the rulings that come from God. Keep all of this in your spirit. Make sure you pay close attention to every word I'm saying. That if Satan has got a case against you, God has to listen to his case. And this is what he's doing. is going before the throne with accusation after accusation after accusation against your life. Why? He's trying to get a legal right to your life. He's trying to get legal access to you. He's trying to get a legal right to harass you, to steal, to kill, to destroy. And he watches your life to see what you do. And every little thing you do, he makes a case out of it. So that he can have justification for attacking your life. Got it? Now, the Bible says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. My God in heaven. Do you want to know what the word testimony means? It's the, it's the Greek word, marturia, and it means evidence given. Wait a minute. And they overcame by the evidence they gave. Once again, that makes this legal. We're dealing with all these legal terms. You know, plaintiffs and evidence and testimony and God is a judge and, and accusations and all of these things. It's evidence given judicially. So that means we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony, which means we have to present evidence that's contrary to the accusation that the enemy is bringing in order for us to overcome. So now how does this work? Listen to this statement and don't ever forget it. If you are born again, Sin 
hear what I'm about to say. Sin, when you mess up, when you miss it, when you do it again and again, and you did it Tuesday, and then you did it Thursday, and then you did it again. When you mess up, sin, miss the mark, God does not judge you. 